What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and with the Olympics just around the corner, thought it'd be a good idea to go through some of the players that might actually trouble Djokovic at the Olympics this year because I know a bunch of you are thinking right now, well, Novak Djokovic, he's going to win the Olympics, he's going to win the Golden Grand Slam because that's what he's going to do because it's history and he's going to do it and he's going to, he's going to do it and Novak Djokovic is the best ever. ever. And if you do think that, that's great because he is the favorite and I agree with you. He is probably going to win the Olympics. But we do have fans of other players that are in the GOAT debate. I'm not going to mention any names, but you know who they are. Unbelievable. So for those fans, let's go have a look at the players that might actually beat Djokovic at the Olympics. Because remember, it's only best of three and best of five, Djokovic unbeatable. Best of three, sometimes he loses. Are you not entertained? And no, this person will not be making an appearance on this list, tennis players only. <laughs> And let's start with the world number 24, Aslan Karatsev. Now, he hasn't done much over the last couple of months on the grass and the clay courts. He's had okay results, but he hasn't had the best results that we saw him on the hard courts at the start of the year. Against Djokovic in particular, the head-to-head -head is 1-1, one, one, but in best of three set matches, he actually leads 1-0. That was on a clay court back in the Serbian Open a few months ago, but still, he has a win over Djokovic in a three-set match. On hard courts in 2021, he has a 16-3 win-loss record, so he has a huge winning record on the hard courts this year. And he actually has two titles on hard courts as well. One in Dubai, which is an ATP 500 event, a very big event. Players like Federer and Djokovic himself have actually won that event. And he also won the ATP Cup. Now, he didn't play the singles in the ATP Cup. He was a doubles player in that. But still, representing Russia, he won a tournament. And the ATP Cup's a big, big tournament at the start of the year. So you got to put him down as a player that could beat Djokovic if they do play. Next player that everyone should be watching out for as a dangerous player for Djokovic is world number four Stefano City Pass. Now we know that Steph has had his best results on the clay courts this year, arguably one of the best clay court players of 2021. But on the hard courts, he actually has an even record in best of three set matches against Djokovic. It's two all in their head to head. So they split the head to head down the middle and they play best of three on hard courts in their careers. His record on hard courts actually is pretty good in 2021. 17 wins, five losses, and of course made the semi-finals of the Australian Open. And also every single hard court event that City Pass has played in 2021, he has made the quarterfinals or better. So to go with that semifinal of the Australian Open, he at least makes the quarterfinals of every hard court tournament that he's played. So we expect that he's going to make at least the quarterfinals of this. And if he's in the same half of Djokovic, they might meet in the semifinals. So Stefano Sittipas, always got to watch out for him as a dangerous player against Novak Djokovic on a hard court. Next player to watch out for is Hubert Hercatch, the world number 12. And of course, a lot of us will remember Hercatch from a couple of weeks ago, beating Federer at Wimbledon in straight sets. But Hercatch's record on hard courts actually isn't that bad either. Remember, he won the Miami Open, which is an ATP 1000 event just before the clay court tournament. So he is in a lot of form on the hard courts. His record against Djokovic, though, zero wins in the two matches they've played, but both of those were at Grand Slam level and neither of those were on a hard court. One was on grass and one was on clay and never played in a three-set match. So that could help her catch because three sets against Djokovic, we've seen is doable. His record in 2021 on the hard courts, like I said, Miami Open champion, 14 wins, five losses. So he's played really well on the hard courts and he has two titles again, like I said, the Miami Open, but he also won Delray Beach at the start of the year one of the first tournaments of the year before the Australian Open. So he's got two hardcore titles to his name and the semifinals of Wimbledon beating Federer. He's full of confidence right now. Career high ranking, number 12 in the world, knocking on the door of the top 10. Djokovic does not want to play her catch right now. Next player, Djokovic does not want to play at the Olympics and is a dangerous player against the world number one is Alexander Zverev, the world number five. Now he does have a terrible record against Djokovic. One win out of five in best of three set matches on hard courts. So... Sasha doesn't like that record. And even in 2021, he hasn't got a great record on hard courts. Nine wins, five losses. But he did win the Acapulco title where he beat City Pass. So he does have a title on hard courts, even though his record is not great. The last two times they played on hard court were actually both this year. One was at the ATP Cup. That went three sets. Zverev had chances to win that match. And then the Australian Open in the quarterfinals. Again, Zverev had chances to push that to a five-set match and could have easily won that one. So Zverev on hard courts against Djokovic is getting very, very close to beating him in those last couple of matches. And maybe Tokyo is where he gets it done if Zverev has a great day and plays really well. So Djokovic will want to avoid Zverev at all costs. Next player that Djokovic does not want to play at the Olympics and is a dangerous player is Andre Rublev, the world number seven. Now, these two have never actually played before, which is kind of crazy. Djokovic has played every single other next-gen player and Rublev's played all the other goats, but these two have never met. So that's what makes it a little bit dangerous for Djokovic because Djokovic has never played against Rublev and doesn't know what to expect 
expect from the Russian. Rublev's hardcourt record, one of the best of the year. 20 wins, four losses. And he also has two titles to his name on hardcourts, one being the Rotterdam Open, which was an ATP 500 event, so a big event. And of course, he was part of Team Russia in the singles for the ATP Cup, and they went on to win. So again, playing for his country, just like Karatsev, the Russians do well when they're playing for their country. So Rublev will be a little bit more fired up. And if he plays Djokovic, having never played him before, could be a very dangerous match for Nole. So definitely a player that Djokovic wants to avoid, Andre Rublev. So there it is, the five dangerous players that Novak Djokovic does not want to play at the... You forgot Medvedev. What? Daniel Medvedev, the world number two? Is he playing? Yeah, he's playing. He's the number two seed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a late entry, Daniel Medvedev. Let's go check out what his results are against Djokovic because he is a very dangerous player, the world number two. All right, Medvedev, world number two, actually has a 2-1 winning record against Djokovic on hard courts in best of three set matches. So straight away, Djokovic has to avoid Medvedev at all costs. Also has one of the best hard court records of the year, 17 wins, three losses. And of course, made the final of the Australian Open where he did lose to Djokovic in straight sets. But again, that was a five-set match, three sets, different story. Two titles to his name, one in Marseille, which is an indoor hardcourt event in France. And of course, the ATP Cup, he was part of Team Russia. He was actually the spearhead for Team Russia, along with Rublev and Karatsev. And again, the Russians, when they represent their country, they play better. So quite obviously, this is the most dangerous player for Novak Djokovic. Now, Djokovic is going to be very lucky because he doesn't have to play Medvedev until the final Possibly if they both lose in the semifinals, they'll play in the bronze medal match. But if they do win all the way to the final and playing for gold, this match would be very dangerous for Novak Djokovic. And of course, this year, they're not doing a best of five set match final. So it's a best of three set match in the final, which means Medvedev could ruin the Golden Slam for Nole. So there it is, the six players, the six players that I think are very, very likely to beat Djokovic if they do play. And Djokovic wants to avoid those players at all costs. Let me know down in the comments below. Is there anyone that I missed? because I know there's a lot of players. Best of three set matches is a little bit different than a Grand Slam and it's probably going to be the hardest one of them all. He's obviously already won the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon. They're best of five set matches. Nole loves playing those. The GOATs love playing those. But best of three set matches, always an upset on the cards. So let me know down in the comments below. Is there anyone else that I should be looking out for who might actually beat Djokovic at the Olympics this year? So Novak Djokovic, it looks like he's going to get the Golden Grand Slam. But there are players that could ruin his chances.